Uh oh, we're back. That's right, y'all. Another video from TTG for real. Film room. Today's feature athlete is defensive end, defensive tackle, linebacker. That's right, Deion Jordan, my favorite player to ever grace the field at Oregon. Coming out at 6'6, 6'7, 275 pounds, running the 4'6, 4'7. This guy had a little hiccups early on in his career, but redemption is the best revenge. He was only active for five games and had four sacks and one forced fumble. Guys, let's check this film out and get straight to it. Jordan is in the seven shade. He's going to do a delayed B gap blitz to pretty much get the guard and the tackle to combo block the defensive tackle and just slip right underneath it as he's doing right here and he just boom although he didn't get the sack he still got the quarterback pressure this is what we like to see from him Jordan is in a wide nine stance he has both hands in the ground so that show you that he is all pass all go he just bullies him bull rush the tackle um, into the quarterback and just makes the sack this guy has a 81.4 inch wingspan dude that makes him seven foot Look at that, man. Look at that. This is his first game back. Probably his best game in his first game back. Now, isn't that a coincidence? Good job, big fella. Jordan is in a six shade head up on a tight end. What you don't know is that he's in man to man. He doesn't even have any hands in the ground. He's press man to man. Um, the Seattle Seahawks can do this because of his length and his speed. Um, it's a zone left, so he gets a hand on the tight end and just pretty much is just a cutback player and makes a play in the backfield. Jordan is in a five shade. Um, it's zone left, so he has to pretty much be the replace guy. He does a good job of getting his left hand on the tackle's hip and be lining to the deepest man in the backfield for the tackle. Jordan is in a two point stance with his right foot up, thinking run first. He has to keep his um, outside shoulder free. He does a good job of initial punch, but he lets the running back gets outside of him. That's his gap, but he still made the tackle. That's just a little bit of rust. Jordan is in a two-point stance again. He does a better job of shooting his left hand and his left foot to the outside um, hip of the tackle, keeping his right hand free. I chose this play because it's straight hustle. This guy hasn't played in three years, man. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Jordan is in the six shade head up on a tight end with a wide base. For what reason? I'm assuming just because that's more comfortable for him. It's a zone, right? He just does a good job of getting skinny and making the tackle on Ty Gurley. Seahawks D-line did a quarterback contain to make uh, golf step up. That's why Jordan is in a wide nine and it's going to rush to the outfield shoulder of the tackle. He just does a good job of bending the corner, doing a cone drill, and getting a sack. Jordan is in a four alignment zone to his side with the tight end cracking the backside in to create space. He does a good job of attacking the guard's upfield shoulder. and He just two gaps. He gets off the block and makes a tackle. Jordan is a gap player. C gap is his responsibility. Both hands in the ground. He's automatically thinking pass, but it's the zone to the left. But look at him. This guy comes all the way across the field and makes the tackle. Jordan is in a five shade. He crashes through the B gap. The Rams love to do split divide zone in this formation, and the Seahawks knew that. So Jordan, when he crashes, he clogs up the middle with the linebackers to scrape over the top, leaving Austin little to no room to run. Jordan is in the five shade against Collins. It's zone left, so Jordan is supposed to be the replace guy. Anything backside he gets. This is a D lineman's favorite play. Clean shot on the runner back. Jordan is in a wide nine stands against Brian Bell. For a guy that didn't play in three years, he did a hell of a job. This guy just does a good job of his hand placement. Left, right, swim over, bends the corner, and get the sack on Dak. You love to see that, man. The Seahawks D-line is in great hands for the future. Jordan, pretty much everybody know that this is a three-man rush. He is not one of them. Um, he does a good job of dropping back in space. This guy can cover in space. You would like to see him close the gap on Witten to be more alert, but still a good job. Jordan is in the sixth alignment head up on the tight end. The D-line crashes inward to make everything bounce outward. So Jordan crashes through the C-gap to make him bounce out. He does a good job of two-gapping and just being right there at the right time. Jordan is in the five shade outside the tackle is zone right so jordan is pretty much just a step replace guy you would like to see him do a better job of getting his left hand on the left hip of the tackle to close the gap but he gets a beeline to the running back this is d lineman's favorite play because it's a free shot and you don't have to worry about anything else jordan is in the six shade head up on the tight end him and richardson the first initial move is going to be in then out on bennett's side bennett is going to rush strictly out this pretty much makes stanton step up in the pocket and have nowhere else to go jordan ben the corner and gets his right hand in there in the nick of time to cause the forced fumble i think they recovered even if they didn't that's still a great job by jordan like i said guys this guy is going to be a beast i'm all in behind him you can bet it you can book it the seattle seahawks future defensive line is in good hands if they are able to sign resign sheldon um bennett and somehow keep jordan and they have clark oh my god it's going to be 
a breeze thanks for tuning in follow me on all of my social media platforms twitter instagram snapchat and soundcloud let me know what you guys think are you behind jordan or was it just the flu five games four sacks you tell me ttg signing out peace